Hey, what is going on guys? You are watching Matt the Musketeer and today I have another episode of Becoming a PC Gamer for you. And in today's episode I'm going to be comparing and upgrading my graphics card. Now currently in the system behind me I have two GTX 560 Ti graphics cards in an SLI layout. And today I'm going to be swapping those out for a single GTX 680 graphics card. So let's go ahead and compare these two layouts and see how it goes down. So to begin with, we're going to take a look at my current setup, which is a two 560 Ti graphics cards. Now, I always play Battlefield 3 in high settings, and I've had this set up for about 9 months now, and I've always got between about 65 and 100 frames. Now for this test, I've joined an empty map on Zebra Tower, and the reason I've done that is, is so when I test against my new 680, I have an even variable to test against. If I joined a game with people in, every time I joined a different game, it would vary the frame rate as there would be different amounts of people in the game, and the situation would be changing. So to make this a fair test, I've joined an empty map, and I'll be joining the same map again when I test the 680. And as you can see here from the frame rate that I have uh, increased and zoomed in on on the top left corner, you can see I'm getting between 65 and sometimes just over 100 frames on high settings. So let's now go ahead and take out the GTX 680. So now we've taken the side of the computer, we can see my two 560 Ti graphics card in an SLI setup with the SLI cable here. So I'm now going to go ahead and take these cards out and replace them with the new 680. So now with the GTX 680 happily installed, let's go ahead and take a look at its frame rate. Now I have set the game graphics settings to high as I did with the previous card and I've joined the same map Zebra Tower so the test is very fair. Now as you can see straight away I'm getting a massive increase in frame rate here. Now after I've been playing for a while I've realised I'm averaging about 90 to about 150 frames and sometimes I do hit 200 frames which you do see very shortly here. Now, since recording this test, I've also been testing this graphics card in Ultra, and I get around 80 to 90 frames, so it's a pretty impressive output from this graphics card. I am very impressed and very pleased with it. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this video, stay tuned. I'll be pulling the winners for my competition very, very soon, so if you want to have yourself a chance to win a copy of the games I mentioned previously, then stay tuned. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.